Hey buddies, I realized that I haven't actually done one of these political compass tests before. You think I would have over over the years, but I don't think I did. At least not on um, not on a video. So because this test uh, recently re re remade the rounds on Twitter for some reason uh, that I don't know, <laughs> um, I literally just retook this. I'm exactly where I was in 2015 and in 2010. My politics haven't really changed. Actually, it turns out um, when I took it in 2015, this red dot was actually like one square to the left. So I guess I've like shifted just slightly leftward over time, but I'm I've always been about this for this far down. Like I mean, these tests change every time you take them, right? Like sometimes you're you kind of hover around this area if you're me. I've been a bit further down on the libertarian scale before. I've been a bit further right and further left, but I've always been around here. So I'm not surprised. And I've always been there. I was there in 2010, I was there in 2015, I'm there in 2020. But yeah, my politics haven't changed. What's changed is that people didn't used to call me a fascist back in 2010 for existing down here. Now the common belief is that if you're not getting more left over time, you might as well be in the blue square. And that's the case. That's the case. If you exist here, or you exist anywhere in here, people who are like on this final edge here, this fi these final two columns, they treat you like you're up here. It's kind of ridiculous. But this test isn't the greatest. So I figure it might be worth doing the eight axis and just kind of going over it, right? You know, why not? Why not? We all know about this, right? Equality versus markets, nation versus world, liberty versus authority, and tradition versus progress. Those are the four axes, economic, diplomatic, civil, and societal. Let's do it. You will be presented with a series of statements. For each one, click the button with your opinion on it. Okay. Oppression by corporations is more of a concern than oppression by governments. I disagree. And the main reason that I disagree is because of the government's monopoly on violence, on the legitimate use of force. A corporation can't simply kill you. The government can if it's tyrannical. That's the difference. That's not to say that I don't think corporate oppression uh, isn't real. It very clearly is. It is a serious problem. It needs to be dealt with. However, I think that government oppression has more of a capability to be destructive. So I will just slightly disagree. It is necessary for the government to intervene in the economy to protect consumers. Uh, I slightly agree with this. Yes, only slightly. And it's because um, there are areas in which there are natural monopolies. And if that's the case and competition won't actually help the, uh, the service become higher quality, then the government does have some kind of a mandate there to step in and make sure that people have access to the service fairly. Um, however, most monopolies are created by the government, but in those few cases where monopolies aren't created by the government, then the government actually has a mandate to get in there. So, yeah, I agree. The freer the markets, the freer the people. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because you can just choose what you want to do with, with your time, your money, your energy, your labor. You can just choose, you know? Choose in the, in the market what you want to do. Yes. It is better to maintain a balanced budget than to ensure welfare for all citizens. Now, while welfare for citizens is obviously good... That's generally left to, like, to the individual to create for themselves. So I think for, for the government, it is better to maintain a balanced budget. So I'm going to like slightly agree. Publicly funded research is more beneficial to the people than leaving it to the market. Um, I'm neutral. I'm neutral on this because I think research, no matter where it comes from, is at least a tool. There's obviously biased research. There's, there's obviously lots of problems with research. We've seen the scandals coming out of the academic sphere recently where, you know, studies are kind of falsified and people can't recreate them and this and that. But I think if the research is good, it doesn't matter where it comes from. So, neutral. Tariffs on international trade are important to encourage local production. I slightly agree. Yes, especially because we're dealing with someone like China who has no problem just destroying their own population in a race to outdo the United States and eventually overtake them. So, yes, slightly agree. From each according to his ability, to each according to his needs. Strongly disagree because I'm not a fucking Marxist. It would be best if social programs were abolished in favor of private charity. This is a hard one because social programs do a lot of good when they're properly implemented and they're not corrupt and you know things are going fine. Um, however, private charity is often more efficient at what it's trying to do. So, you know, should we abolish social programs? No. Are private charities better at what they do? Generally, yes. So I guess I'm neutral on that. Taxes should be increased on the rich to provide for the poor. Um, I mean, yes, but only to a certain extent. 
there's definitely an argument to be made that like you should tax people who are extraordinarily wealthy and fund you know a basic healthcare system that's reasonable canada does it the uk does it it hasn't destroyed our countries yet and a shitty healthcare service like the one that canada has is better than having no healthcare service and going into debt for millions of dollars over something you know that frankly you shouldn't be going into debt over like if if you're born with you know a pre-existing condition and you're just fucked you know why should you be owing millions of dollars like it's it's it seems a bit unfair so i i agree i don't strongly agree but i agree inheritance is a legitimate form of wealth absolutely strongly agree because when you own property um it is your right to do to do whatever you want with it including gift it if you want to gift it to anybody you want including your kids that is legitimate so strongly agree basic utilities like roads and electricity should be publicly owned um yeah i pretty much agree with that too it was one of those things that the entire community needs then there's probably some mandate there to ensure that every citizen has some kind of fair access to the service so yeah government intervention is a threat to the economy i do agree actually quite a bit um again there are a few tiny instances where the government intervention might actually save something but for the most part governments tend to fuck up economies so i agree those with a greater ability to pay should receive better health care. Yes, yes. I do agree for a, for a minimum standard of care for those people who, who can't afford it, but there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to pay for something better, just like private schools, you know? Quality education is a right of all people. Now, I know what they mean by this. They're thinking that if you hit disagree, then you think you don't believe that people deserve to have a quality education. Um, it's not what I believe at all. I actually do believe that people should have a quality education, but it's not a right. Rights are very specific things. Rights are things that they're basically infinite in supply. They can only be taken away from you. They can't be given to you. So quality education is a good thing, and a developed country should be spending a lot of money on its education where necessary. But is it a right? No. So I will have to slightly disagree. The means of production should belong to the workers who use them. No, it should belong to the people who made them or bought them. This is more commie bullshit. The United Nations should be abolished. This is one of the things that I actually sw I actually swung on quite a bit in the past five to ten years. I would I would have said strongly disagreed before. Now I agree, um, and it's mainly because have you seen the amount of corrupt shit coming out of the United Nations recently? It's kind of wild. Military action by our nation is often necessary to, to protect it. Yes, of course. Like any nation can say yes for this. I support regional unions such as the European Union. Now, the thing with regional unions is that sometimes they're just like trading blocks, which are generally fine. Sometimes they're military alliances, which are generally fine. The EU, however, is this neolib nightmare proto-state that's desperately trying to basically turn all of the countries into it, into um, like vassal states. So I disagree with their example of the, of the EU, but I do believe that regional unions can often be okay. So I'm going to go neutral on it. It is important to maintain our national sovereignty. Yes, of course it is. The United World Government would be beneficial to mankind. No, it would not. It would not because it's devolution of powers that make societies more free. Like, if you're voting for somebody who lives half a world away, they're not going to give a shit about you. If you're voting for somebody where the power structure is closer to where you live, and is a little bit more, it's a little bit smaller, and therefore it's a little bit more local, it is more likely that, that your needs will be represented by, by that structure. So, strongly disagree. It is more important to, main, to retain peaceful relations than to further our strength. I think those are probably equal, you know? You should be strong in case you have to fight, but if you can opt for peace, then you should opt for peace. So I think I'm going to go neutral on that. Wars do not need to be justified to other countries. Yeah, I agree with that. If you have to go to war, it's nobody else's business. You know, it's some third party who, who's not taking any side. They're like, oh, you shouldn't do that. It's like, no, no, maybe there's a reason you're going to war. Maybe there's a good reason, in fact. So, no, I agree with this. Military spending is a waste of money. I strongly disagree. We live in a world where, and again, this isn't something I've probably changed on over the past 10 years, but we live in a world with, with a resurgent China. China is fucking everyone everywhere, and we need a deterrent, frankly. The West needs to basically grow a backbone and stand up to them, so I strongly disagree. International aid is a waste of money. I disagree as well. There are definitely times when, like, international aid um, kind of goes to the wrong, goes, goes into the wrong pockets, you know? A little bit corrupt. People skim a bit too, too much off the top. Stuff doesn't doesn't go to where it's supposed to go. But when it works, it's it's obviously good. You know, charity is obviously good. My nation is great. Um, yeah, I agree with that. Canada is objectively one of the better nations in the world. Like, there's there's no comparing us to you know some Islamic shithole that mistreats gay people, mistreats women. You know, no. Yeah, Canada's pretty great. 
research should be conducted on an international scale. Um, I argue with that. You know, generally. Like, it should be, basically, if it's something that's important, like space research or like coronavirus research or something, generally you have multiple space agencies working together from multiple countries. You have private and public businesses all working together. Like for the coronavirus vaccine, you know, the Americans, the Canadians, the Brits, the French, and the Germans, they're all working together on it. Like they all have their own projects, but they're sharing their research. And I think that is kind of how you get things done if you really need to get things done. So yeah, I agree. Governments should be accountable to the international community. I mean... Yes and no. Again, like, if a government is blatantly violating the human rights of its citizens, yes. But there are definitely instances where other other countries are just, like, meddling, and it's like, well, fuck off, dude. Like, you're not part of this. So I'm going to go neutral, because there are times when this, it, this statement is true and times when it's false. So neutral. Even when protesting an authoritarian government, violence is not acceptable. Yet, yeah, no. Like, if you're fighting a legitimate authoritarian government and you have to actually you know, engage in a civil war, then no, like, there are times where you have to use violence against authoritarians. But you have to be measured with it. You have, you have to understand, like, okay, you are you are now violating the social contract because you believe that your government is just too authoritarian to, um, to tolerate anymore. And that might be the case. But when it comes to, like, the Antifa fucks, they believe that that's the case, and yet it very clearly isn't. So you have to, like, one, you have to win, because if you don't win, you're going to get fucked. But two, you also have to understand exactly what you're doing. So, I disagree, but there's like, this is a hard one. This is actually a hard one. I don't know if I'm neutral or disagree. I don't know. I'll hit disagree. My religious value should be spread as much as possible. Um, no, I don't, I mean, I'm an atheist, right? So it doesn't, doesn't really matter. I don't really have religious values. If, if you want to spread atheism, like, go ahead, but I actually don't. Don't really care. As long as people aren't hurting anybody, I don't care what they believe. Our nation's values should be as much as possible. Yes, because our values are capitalism and liberalism and democracy. It doesn't matter whether that's parliamentary democracy or whether it's, you know, re Republican democracy. But either way, yeah, we, we live in objectively the, the best civilizations on Earth right now. Those should be spread. It is very important to maintain law and order. Yeah, generally. Yeah, I agree. I guess I should probably explain that one, right? Sorry, I jumped ahead too quickly. Um, yeah, like there are definitely times when you have to when you have to fight fight the power. For the most part, democracy is still getting things done. So no, the general populace makes poor decisions. Uh, I'm neutral on this, frankly, because you have some really dumb fucking people out there who are in positions of power, and you have some really smart people who are kind of you know stuck in in a hole and can't really do anything because of the circumstances of their life then you also have some dumb people who put themselves there and then you have some smart people who are where they should be so like the general populace is an entire range of people who are very smart and very dumb so sometimes they make poor decisions sometimes they don't i'm just gonna go neutral physician assisted suicide should be legal yes i strongly agree with that well here's the thing like i strongly agree but there's also potential for it to be for it to be abused, so there has to be like something there to make sure it's not abused. But I still strongly agree. Yeah. The sacrifice of some civil liberties is necessary to protect us from acts of terrorism. No, fuck you, NSA. Strongly disagree. Government surveillance is necessary in the modern world. No, fuck you, NSA. I strongly disagree. The very existence of the state is a threat to our liberty. No, I strongly disagree. <laughs> the the state should be restrained because its power is is incredible, and if it's turned on its own people, that's disastrous. But you still need the state. You still need some kind of apparatus there to make sure that your rights aren't violated and that something can happen to those people who violate other people's rights. So, you know, if something, so, you know, someone steals your purse on the street and then the cops, you know, the cop who's around the corner sees it, chases after the, the robber and, like, tackles him and then, you know, handcuffs him and takes him away, that is unprovoked force on, on by the officer but it's still necessary because that is basically the state attempting to rectify the violation of your rights therefore you need a state you need some kind of night watchman so i disagree regardless of political opinions it is important to side with your country i'm neutral on this you know there are times when your country does legitimately evil things and you can't side with it but then there are there, but then there are times when your your differences are minor and it's time to act because there's a greater evil out there and you have to kind of go along with it. So I'm neutral. Yeah, I'm neutral. All authority should be questioned. Yes, of course. 
Of course it should be. A hierarchical, a hierarchical, a higher, Jesus Christ, hierarchical state is best. Um, not only is it best, it's the only type of state that can exist. <laughs> like, no, you don't get your your stateless society. You don't get your your uh, classless, you know, governmentless society where everyone just lives in, in in a commune. No, it doesn't exist. Will never work. We are social creatures, therefore we trend toward organization. Strongly agree. It is important that the government follows the majority opinion, even if it's wrong. No. The government should not. The government can can basically uh, hold a vote, and then the majority can vote to exterminate a minority population, and then the government should follow that? No. There has to be restraint on government power. Um, we, we cannot simply bend to the tyranny of the majority in a democracy. There, there, it, democracy is important, but it's not the only part, and there's a reason why it's not the only part. So, I disagree. The stronger the leadership, the better. I'm neutral in this because you know you have strong mans who who uh, are very clearly just fascists taking over, and then you have strong leadership that is needed but is still legitimate. So neutral. Democracy is more than a decision-making process. I would generally agree with that because it's also representation, isn't it? Like you elect people to make decisions in in parliament or whatever, but it's it's not just that. Yeah, agree. Environmental regulations are essential. I agree. I actually do agree with this. Um, I think the free market argument falls flat when it comes to the environment. Because if you have, say, a company that just dumps a, bu a bunch of radioactive waste into the into the river, and then, you know, downriver an entire town dies, yeah, the free market will fix that because that company will go out of business since everyone hates them for killing a town. But we can get to that point without the people in the town dying, right? Like... There are some things government can do, and I think environmental regulation is one of them. So, I agree. A better world will come from automation, science, technology. I strongly agree, actually. I think our future is pretty bright, all things considered. Children should be educated in religious or traditional values. Neutral on this. Neutral. Maybe even disagree. Like, it's up to them. It's up to the kids to figure out where they want to go in their lives. You know? So, let's just choose neutral. Traditions are of no value on their own. Absolutely not. And I'm not even a traditionalist, but they obviously have some value. There's obviously something that is more than the sum of its parts holding cultures together. And even though it's it's important to, to challenge traditions, even though it's important to discard traditions when necessary, when they've become tyrannical, or they've become oppressive, even when it's important to change traditions or introduce new ones, the tra tradition itself still has some value, so I disagree. Religion should, should play a role in government. No, it should not. Strongly disagree. Churches should be taxed the same way that other institutions are taxed. Yeah, I don't see why not, you know? If money changes hands, it should be taxed. Climate change is currently one of the greatest threats to our way of life. Um, see, I don't, I don't think it is. I think climate change is real. But I think, like, the great e ecological disaster of our time is not even climate change. It's plastic in the oceans. That's a very different problem. Climate change is small potatoes compared to plastic in the oceans. So I'm kind of neutral on this. Like, I mean, it's not. No, I, I, guess, I guess I disagree. It is not. It is a threat, but it is not nearly one of the greatest threats. It is important that we work as a united world to combat climate change. Now, this I can actually agree with, because even though climate change is not one of the greatest threats, it is still somewhat of a threat, and it will take everyone, uh, everyone getting involved in order to fix the problem. You know... Canada and the U.S. And, and Europe and all these other places, they can do their part, but if China and India just don't give a shit, the problem's not going to get fixed, all right? In fact, like, Canada outputs, what, like, 1-2% of the entire world's emissions? We can't do shit. All, all of our politicians over here in Canada, they're like, we got to solve the... It's like, no, we can't do anything, dude. We're, we're a small player in this regard. We can't do shit. But I agree. Society was better many years ago than it is now. Strongly disagree. There is no time other than this era, you know, the modern era, the internet era, that I would rather have been alive. This is great, man, all things considered. Th things are getting better for everyone at a, p at a pace we've never seen before. We, we literally li live in a golden age of everything. This is amazing. It is important that we maintain the traditions of our past. Yeah, like a little bit, sure. Like, I don't agree with all traditions. However, it is it is people's freedom to, to do so. And... Also, um, they're not all bad, you know? So, agree. It is important that we think in the long term beyond our lifespans. Yes, I also agree with this. 
there are things that need to be done that we won't actually see the fruits of. You know, at some point we're going to have to go to the stars, and you and I won't see that. But it doesn't mean we shouldn't at least, you know, put a few bricks in that wall, you know? That's a great. Reason is more important than maintaining our culture. Yeah, I'm neutral on that one. Partially because our culture is reason, but also partially because, like, you, you can't simply have your culture. You can't simply have your traditions because they're they're old. They're they're stale. Sometimes they don't understand what's going on. But reason, you know, the the world of pure reason where there's no spiritual side to life, that can be equally destructive. So I am neutral on this because they're, I think they're equally as important. Drug use should be legalized or decriminalized. Strongly agree. Absolutely. People should be able to do whatever they want. Within reason, obviously. Same-sex marriage should be legal. Yes, of course. The state has no business banning this either. Strongly agree. It's a, it's a human rights issue. No cultures are superior to others. Strongly disagree. Um, <laughs> Backwards-ass Islamic shitholes are objectively inferior to Western culture. Sex outside marriage is immoral. Strongly disagree. People can do whatever the fuck they want, man. Like, this is their freedom. If we accept migrants at all, it is important that they assimilate into our culture. Strongly agree with this one, of course. Again, if they're coming from shitholes and they want to come here to be Canadians, they are welcome to come here to be Canadians, but they have to become Canadians. Abortion should be prohibited in most or all cases. Strongly disagree. Gun ownership should be prohibited for those without a valid reason. Again, strongly disagree. This is this is that personal freedom thing coming through. I support single payer universal health care. Yeah. Prostitution should be illegal. No, nope. strongly disagree as well. You know, do whatever you want. This, this is the libertarian in me coming out. Do whatever you want as long as you're not hurting somebody else. The government should have no say. That's not that's not me saying that I think those things are good, but it is me saying that the government shouldn't stop you. Maintaining family values is essential. Yeah, I actually agree. It is. If you're raising a family, there should be some family values there. You can't just, like, you know, mistreat your kids or something. You know? I know that the, 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 the feminists like to say that the nuclear family is oppressive, but it really, really isn't. And the destruction of the nuclear family has kind of harmed the black community in multi-generational ways. So let's, let's go with agree here. To chase progress at all costs is dangerous. I agree as well. Because, like... Most people who say that they're progressives, <laughs> they like, they do some weird fucking shit and they believe some weird things in the name of progress, man. And they think that, 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 that what they're chasing is progress, but it's not. Like, that's the thing. When you chase progress, you often not, you, you often don't get it. You, you often just overshoot the mark and fucking destroy everything. The idea is not to chase progress. The idea is to run away from destruction and through process of, of elimination, you'll, you'll get there eventually. It, it's the difference between doing good and not doing evil. There's a pretty big difference there, so I agree with the statement. Genetic modification is a force for good even on hum humans. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind the whole designer babies thing. It, it might be weird in the future, but like, I don't, I don't mind the idea of tinkering with genes once the process becomes reliable to, to make the species better. I don't care about that at all. I'm, I'm, I'm like... I'm neutral on it in that I don't care, but I agree with it in that if it works, it's like, yes, sure. Okay, sure. We should open our borders to immigration. I mean, yes, but not to the levels that we're currently opening them to. So I like, I, I agree, but I don't strongly agree. Governments should be as concerned about foreigners as they are about their own citizens. I mean... I fluctuate between neutral and disagree because unless it's, you know, some kind of Holocaust happening, like like China genociding the Uyghurs or something, unless that's going on, I don't think I don't think our government has any business in anybody else's affairs. It's their affairs, you know, As, if the people elected that other government and that other government is doing what, what, the, what the people want and they're not like wholesale butchering a population, then I don't think we have a place to say anything, you know? So, like, I mean, here, should be as concerned? No. No. Mm, this is hard. I don't know. I, 
I'll choose disagree just because it's that one extreme situation where I uh, I, I agree with this. So I'll just, I'll just choose to disagree. All people, regardless of factors like culture, sexuality, should be treated equally. Yes, always. Treat people as individuals. Do not simply judge them by their culture. It is important that we further my group's goals above all others. No, no. I mean, it, it, first of all, this is a very vague statement, but like, generally, no. Like, my group is humanity, in a sense. Here we go. Check it out. Centrist. <laughs> Economic axis. This is... I'm slightly more markets than equality. Okay. Diplomatic axis. Balanced. I am 60 nation, 40 world. Okay. Civil axis. Moderate. I am 60 liberty, 40 authority. All right. Societal axis. Progressive. I am 40% tradition, 60% progress. Liberalism. Now, I've done this before. And last time I did it, I got centrism. I have fluctuated between centrism, liberalism, and libertarianism. And they all look kind of like this, you know? It's generally a 60-40 split with markets coming in over equality, nation coming in over world, liberty coming in over authority, and progress coming in over tradition. It's generally a 60-40 split, though, with each one, which means that it's not like I'm massively nation over world. <laughs> it's only that it's usually a 60 40 split so yeah i am a liberal now i know that you can get like you can get like centrist here you can get libertarian here you can even get neoliberal here but i didn't get ne i've never gotten neoliberal this is liberalism so there are a lot of people out there who call me a nazi a fascist you know an, an alt-right chud a reactionary no i'm just a liberal i've always been a liberal this is very close to, 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 to what I got five years ago. It is very close to what I got ten years ago. I have always only been a liberal. Thanks for coming along with me on this ride, guys. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Real videos coming back tomorrow. I know there's been a drought recently. I'm sorry. Um, I am working on the Kyle Rittenhouse video. It's just that it, it's, it's a deep dive. All right, It's coming, but it's going to be one of those big videos. It's going to be like Chaz. It's going to be a big situation. So it's coming, but you will see it later. I have two dumping with scrumps that, I, that I've recorded that I haven't put out yet. Those will come out soon. Um, but yeah, videos are coming back. Um, thanks very much. Oh, and I, also, I'm streaming pretty much right, right when you see this. I'll be streaming on Twitch. So drop by and say hi there. Um, I will see you for tomorrow's video or for tonight's stream. Thanks for watching, guys. I love you.